Okay, I want to share with you uh, the iCarSoft 91 i9102, um, and we're going to show diagnosing and hopefully resetting this ABS warning light on our BMW that we have here. Um, the light is the lights are it's light, lit up like a Christmas tree. Basically, we've got the ABS light, the brake light, and also the traction control light. And now if you are interested in this kit, you can pick it up from Diagnostic World, which is www.diagnostic-world.com or you can click the link directly below this video. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we need to diagnose the fault and find out exactly what the problem is. Now, we're hoping that it's going to be something quite simple, like just a faulty ABS sensor. Um, an ABS sensor would be the lesser of two evils, in fact. Um, the more expensive and more complex fixes are the ABS pump and the ABS module. Uh, so we'll see what kind of fault we get with this kit. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. That's the box for the kit there. It takes 30 seconds or so to connect up to the ABS system. Alright, so it's asking us to read trouble codes, which we will go ahead and do. It's giving us one fault. Okay, so we've got 5DC0 wheel speed sensor, which is an ABS sensor, uh, rear right. So that's good news. Uh, probably the best news we could hope for, in fact. Um, a faulty ABS sensor is not the end of the world. Uh, it's quite easily replaced. Pick them up from Dominator Auto Diagnostics. Um, but quite cheaply so you can uh, what we need to do is first of all remove the rear right hand wheel remove the rear right faulty ABS sensor uh, put our new sensor in and hopefully we should be able to come back into the vehicle and reset the codes and reset the warning lights okay so we need to get this wheel off now all right so we have the wheel off I'm going to show you the ABS sensor this is the ABS sensor itself I'm not sure how well you can see that There you are, so that's the ABS sensor there. And if we follow the cable, what it does is it goes through here, underneath there, and then up to this box here. That's where you need to remove it. And that's the connection undone right there. And the other end of it is just an Allen key. Okay, so these are the ABS sensors which are actually suitable for this car. Um, this one here is the rear sensor, and you can see the part number there. Um, and these are the front ABS sensors. The two, one for the left and one for the right. Two different parts there. Uh, what you want to do is log on to uh, Dominator Auto Diagnostics for these sensors. It's www.bavariandominator.co.uk and you'll be able to pick up these ABS sensors. Uh, please note though that um, if your vehicle is slightly different to ours, the ABS sensors that you're, you're looking for might also be slightly different. Um, so do have a look on our YouTube channel because we do have a guide on how to find the right ABS sensor for your vehicle. Uh, or you can send us a message, send us an email, and we'll get that information to you, no problem at all, and tell you which sensor you need to buy. This is the website here. If you look on the left hand side, you've got options for ABS sensors. That's what you need to click on to. Alright, so we're back in the car now. We have reset, well, sorry, replaced the ABS sensor. Uh, 20 pounds from Dominator Auto Diagnostics and Parts um, came quite quickly. So we've got the uh, the warning lights are still on the dashboard. What we need to do is erase the trouble codes, and that should then tell the ECU that the fault has been repaired. So we're just going to click on Erase Trouble Codes here. Erase Trouble Codes. Fault is codes is erased. We'll come out here. Now you notice the ABS lights are still on. Uh, sometimes with the ABS uh, reset tools such as the iCarSoft i9102, um, it takes 
you, you can reset the fault codes but you actually need to uh, put the wheels in the motion so uh, the, the fault codes may well be deleted but we need to now uh, roll the wheels and then we should see an end to the ABS lights on the dashboard here um, so we'll start moving the car now and hopefully the lights will turn off